You are surprised uh, when something like you can't handle the truth or a million dollars, billion dollars uh, just captures people, people's imagination. Going, we don't need Mr. Sorkin, so good to see you again. I've got 10,000 questions for you because this is my favorite. Great movie to so see far you, Jake. Uh, uh, I just I want to give you very out. short, quick answers. Oh, you know what? I wanted to geek out really quick and just sort of share. You were kind enough to sign uh, my four-year consideration uh, screenplay for Social Network and take a picture with me. So you are a permanent fixture hey, in, in, in my apartment. So you, hey, thanks, you're... <laughs> I wake up and see you every day if that's not creepy. Um, but I I, it. the last time you and I spoke uh, was for Molly's Game. And obviously it was mm -hmm. your directorial debut. And, and I asked you at that moment if you could have directed any of your past films that you wrote, which one do you most wish that you could have had the chance to get behind the camera for? And you told me a few good men because you see you really wanted to direct a great court sequence. Uh, and so I was wondering, do you, do you sort of feel like, uh, like you, you finally got to have that moment now? I do. Yeah. Um, uh, it was, uh, I, I loved being in the courtroom, uh, but before we got to the courtroom, which we built in Patterson, New Jersey, we built that whole courtroom. When I say we, Shane Valentino, our production designer, built that whole courtroom uh, inside a church in Patterson, New Jersey. Before we got there, we spent three and a half weeks in Chicago. Um, uh, three and a half of the best weeks uh, of my life, in spite of the fact uh, I don't know if you've heard about this. It can get windy in Chicago. I have um, heard. I didn't know that. By the way, I didn't know until I worked there that that's not why it's called the Windy City. It's the politicians. Um, it's the politicians, yeah. Nonetheless, uh, when you are working nights recreating a riot in Grant Park, um, uh, you are right next to Lake Michigan, mm -hmm. and it is cold uh, and windy. But the city of Chicago was fantastic to us, particularly the Chicago Police Department, okay, uh, uh, which takes a beating in, in this movie. They, they also deliver a beating, obviously, but they take a beating in this movie. It was Chicago, it was mostly off duty Chicago police officers who were playing the Chicago police officers uh, in this film. Fantastic uh, group of people. And uh, they uh, had a sense of humor about Sasha and Jeremy Strong, who before a take would, you know, across the expanse of 100 yards uh, uh, to where these police officers uh, in riot gear were set, would start taunting them, uh, uh, just really uh, uh, taunting them. And I'd have to run to the police officers and say, hey, you guys know that Sasha Baron Cohen and Jeremy Strong and they are just, they're warming up before, they would start like 30 seconds before I'd call action. They could hear things starting to gear up, you know, we're speeding, cameras were, and they would start to go after these guys, go after their kids, uh, uh, to go after the city. And I thought, you know, you guys are gonna get the hell beaten out of you. They, they are actual police officers, I promise you, they can beat you up, uh, but they, they they really got into the spirit of it and the whole city was fantastic. And the fact that we were able to shoot there at all uh, is how the movie got made. Well, I'm so glad you did. It was so great seeing Grant Park sort of depicted and that you guys didn't try to move it to another city. I want to squeeze in one more question because they're about to give me a wrap, but, but obviously okay. you, you are my, if you can't tell from the fact that I have a framed photo of you. I really home, appreciate you're, it, man. You're, you're, you're my favorite screenwriter of all time. And obviously you've written some of the greatest lines in the history of cinema. When you put pen to paper, and you write something like you can't handle the truth or you, you write, you know, what's what, you know, uh, you know, what's what's better than uh, a million, you know, a million dollars, a billion dollars. Do you know in that moment that it's any different than any other line you've written? Or are you surprised when people connect with certain lines? You do not know that it's different from any line, other line that you've ever written. You are surprised uh, when something like you can't handle the truth or a million dollars, billion dollars. Uh, just captures people people's imagination uh, somehow, and obviously you're you're thrilled by it. You know um, that that suddenly you're in the same world as we're going to need a bigger boat. Well, seriously, Mr. Sorkin, seriously, I, I cannot tell you this is this is my favorite movie of the year. And honestly, living here in Chicago, I I knew a lot of this story, but you 
taught me more than I even knew about it. So I, I can't thank you enough for, uh, for, for, for making this film and making it here in thank, our city. Thank you, Jake. And uh, you really made my day. Thanks a lot. Hey, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Well, we're going, we don't need roads.